fumble or knocking that ball. Mm -hmm. um, or making him, making the guy back the ball. Yeah. Um, like I would say, um, special teams plays, you know, you got that one rep, and you just want to focus on that one rep, try not to look ahead of the defense. So um, I just felt like I knew I had a one-on-one -on -one matchup with my guy at the line. I feel like I could beat him off the line. I was able to do that. Just went down and tried to make a play at the end. Jim, with, I'm kind of got an update on Kurt today. He would be eligible maybe for a sixth year as his friend. Would you kind of want him to come back if, you know, at all possible? I mean, I just want to do what's best for him. Uh, you know, he's a guy, he's done, he's done a lot for the program. He's done everything that's been asked of him. So I just kind of want him to, you know, make the right decision for him. I mean, I'll support him either way he goes. So, I mean, I'm not, you know, I, I'm not on either side of the fence. I'm just want him to do what's right for him. Yeah, I think Derek's had him before games were over the sack. What do you think what he's different with him now than maybe it was early on the season? Um, I couldn't really tell you. I mean, he's always worked hard. You know, he never got down when he wasn't getting sacked. You know, they were getting the ball out. A lot of times they were getting it out right when he got there. And um, like I always say, the flow of the game kind of sometimes just dictates, you know, if you'll get that sack or not. It's, it's a split second difference every time. Um, but he's been getting, applying pressure on the quarterback all year. He's just starting to get rewarded for it in sacks. When you, when you came here, when you signed with Tennessee, how did you see yourself? What do you think your career would be like? Like what position? And um, well, I, was, you know, I, I mean, I could be a linebacker, but um, I would just focus on coming in and just making an impact. I, I didn't want to be a guy that was just on the sideline, you know, just wasting my abilities. So um, I just wanted to come in and make an impact, and I've been fortunate enough to be able to do that each of my three years here so far. Did you think it would be a safety, or did you have a pretty good idea of being a linebacker? Um, I really didn't care. I mean, I always thought to myself, I'm just, I always thought I was just a good football player, and you know, whatever position I was put in, I feel like I could be successful at it. How did, how did you come to be a linebacker? Who, you know, when and who? Um, it was just throughout training camp uh, my freshman year. Um, you know, we had some guys at safety, and you know, they just wanted to see what I could do um, you know, at linebacker. And, you know, it was a learning curve at first, um, different experience, just different, different position, uh, totally different, just problems that you got to deal with. And um, you know, it worked out for me, though. I'm glad I did it. Jalen, I know that Coach Jones wants you to be focused and everything, but is it exciting to know that so many people come back for homecoming and that it means a lot to maybe former players and stuff? Is that kind of exciting to, to think about during the week, even though you are focusing on the game? Yeah, I mean, well, homecoming is always a big week, um, you know, with people coming back and just, just overall throughout, like, the, the student body is just um, you know, a lot of a lot of hype around it. But, you know, I. I just focus on the game. I know we got to come out. We got a job to do, and you know that's where all my focus is going. Jan, going back to Kurt, do you feel like it took you guys a couple of weeks to to get used to playing without him? And do you feel like you guys have kind of hit your stride now with without him? Yeah, I think so. Um, especially for the D line, um, just without Kurt being there, he, he's kind of the leader of that room. So I feel like guys just had to get adjusted to a new role in the defense. But you know, they they've done a great job of it, and um, they're they're playing excellent right now. What type of advice have you given to other guys like McDowell, like Sapp, that were safeties in high school, but are linebackers now here? I know you played some linebacker at Northeast as well, but what do you tell those guys that are transitioning from the back level to the second level? Um, tell them you just got to be able to play. Quick. Everything has to happen quicker. Um, you know, you got to do a lot of pre-snap reading. You can't just you can't just freelance like you can when you're in the back end because you got more time. But in the back end, you have more time. But up close, it's happening much faster. So your mental preparation just has to be a, a lot higher. How, how do you feel you've improved from last year to this year? I mean, you made a lot of plays last year, but how have you improved to this point? Um, I feel like my effort has been a lot better this year. I feel like I'm running around a lot more um, in on a lot more plays than I was last year. And um, just kind of understanding the flow of the games and understanding um, what they, how they're going to try to attack me in, in different situations has helped what me make the what, plays. What made you make your effort better? Um, probably just watching AJ. Um, AJ was a guy, his effort never never tapered off. Um, and, you know, I, I could just always see how, how his effort was so much higher than mine last year. I just wanted to try to kind of match that level and always be around the ball. You're one of the few veterans in the group of the linebacker. Do you feel pressure to hand down stuff that AJ gave to you to those young guys? Um, a little bit. So I kept myself doing some of the same things that he did. Um, but, you know, we, just, we got that standard of linebacker room. Um, it's a high standard. And, you know, I feel like everyone's working to that standard um, in, in our group. And, you know, we'll have a lot of great players come out of our linebacker room. So Kirkland almost caught you last week, saying, I guess the same number of tackles. Is, mm -hmm. it, is it his, his search still ongoing, I guess, to get one more than you? Yeah, it, it probably is. I mean, it's probably a bigger deal to him than it is to me. Cause, I mean, I don't even think about it. I just know he's not going to beat me. So you didn't think about it at all? When, <laughs> when you saw the numbers, you saw 9-9, nine, nine, you didn't think about it? No, I, I actually think I have more than 9, but <laughs> you know, the official stats. Joe, what do you think about nine. 
where he's at now compared to where he is at the Bowling Green game? How much has he grown? No, a lot. Um, he's he's able to help uh, help out more people on the field. Um, he's getting better with communicating with you know the, the back end as far as the D line too. At, at first he was just kind of doing his job, but now he's able to um, just make everybody else more comfortable on the field. Do you see like in is it, is it kind of like a mirror of what you went through last year? I mean, do you, you kind of see him struggling with the same things, growing from you know getting better? Yeah. I mean, it was a lot different just because he has to talk so much. Um, he has to keep, communicate so much and. And, and, and just evaluate so much on the field, it's a lot different than what I had to do. I, I kind of just got to sit back and, and just play my game, but he has to he has to help out everybody on the field. So he's actually doing a lot more mentally than, than what I had to do last year. I know Butch is open to former players coming back and joining you guys in meetings. When was the last time a former ball like a now Wilson type of guy joined you guys in a meeting? Um, in the linebacker room specifically? Yeah. yeah. Um, I can't, uh, in the summer, some guys came back. Um, I can't remember who all who all's been back since I've been here, but um, we always got guys. And usually, when somebody come back, they address the whole defense. So even if it's if it's John Henderson, he talked to the whole defense um, this summer. So you know, it, we don't separate it just DBs or just linebackers or just D line. We if, if VFL comes back, then they'll talk to the whole to the whole group. Chan, what have you? Seen?